So today on my Taylor City home, really, uh, we were also trying to get ourselves in trouble because um, Miss My Tabor City would not appreciate the fact that I have brought a radiator in and have it sitting on the uh, counter in our kitchen. Um, it's kind of cold out there today. It's, it's 40, but it's it's like 18 to 20 mile an hour winds, and it, it just goes pretty quick on me. Um, so was sitting in one spot and not doing a whole lot of movement, you don't have any way to build a body heat and it just sucks to be out there. So I decided that we were gonna fix this radiator inside of this kitchen. Um, so I don't even know if she's watched a single one of these videos, so I don't know that she'll really say anything about it. I'll try to get cleaned up before she gets home and see what happens. Maybe the dogs won't tell her. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna show you a way when I was, uh, in high school, I worked in a gas station and got to do some minor repairs and different stuff, mostly tedious work, uh, you know. And so, the uh, the boss of that gas station at one point in time would sit you down with a radiator and say, "Hey, I need you to square this radiator away." Away, and when I wasn't pumping gas, which was primarily what I was in, I used to say I was a fuel dispensing technician. When I wasn't pumping gas. Uh, checking people's oil and, and air pressures and fixing flat tires with plugs and all that other good stuff. I would, he would just have me do these little tedious jobs. So I would sit in here in the uh, office of the gas station and do stuff like this. So I'm going to show you how we did it. All right. So um, one of the things that he always had us use was a pencil. And his theory on a pencil is that... If you can work inside the fin of a radiator with a pencil that's sharpened, it's not a dull pencil. If you can work inside the fins of a radiator, straighten them out with a pencil that's sharpened and not break the lead on the pencil, then you're not putting too much force on it and therefore you should not do any further damage to the radiator. Um, good guy, you know, I mean, he, uh, he taught me a lot. Um, because of working for him and, and learning to do the things that I learned to do is probably the reason why I have enough confidence and enough, uh, I guess you would say, mechanical ability to take on something like working on a backhoe or something. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, you kind of owe those, those kind of things to the guys who took you under their wing and showed you stuff when you know they didn't absolutely have to and I was just some punk kid um, I actually started working at a gas station before my freshman year of high school and of course you know that didn't that didn't go over well with a lot of people because you know I, I had limited funds and I used the money that I had to purchase clothing and uh, and you know blue jeans and I wore all the I wore the same blue jeans to school that I was going to work in after school because I, I basically worked seven days a week so I used I wore the same blue jeans to school that I wore after school uh, and I didn't have any what you would call a good set of blue jeans um, I had blue jeans and they were they were the same no matter what I was doing so I, I was a guy who showed up to class and I remember uh, several times turning in papers to teachers and because I had so much grease and stuff in my forearms that just was embedded in there and I tried you know I tried just about every soap on the market short of taking showers with a lava soap or something like that but I tried just about everything in the marketplace to uh, you know be able to take a shower with it to get get that stuff clean I will say that you know, dish soap was probably the most uh, most beneficial for that stuff. But as you can see, I mean, you go through here and you're trying to straighten out these fins. And, you know, as the airflow goes through this radiator, it needs to be able to pass through. And uh, the, the airflow through the radiator is basically what helps with the cooling. If these things are all blocked up, like this section up here is, and the air comes in, this is actually the back side of the radiator. Um, as you can tell, this is the side where the fan blade was hitting. I did a video about that earlier. But if the air flow is coming through the radiator and it can't escape 
through this side, then it just packs extra heat in the radiator and causes it to be far less efficient than what it would be. So, I mean, that's my tip for the day. We use a, a, a sharpened pencil to straighten out radiator fins. So that way you, uh, you didn't have to worry about putting too much pressure on the radiator. Again, if you put too much pressure on the pencil, you're going to break the tip off of it. And, you know, my boss would always tell us that it would take just a little bit more pressure um, to actually get into one of these veins in the radiator and, and damage it than what it would take to break the lead off of a pencil. Uh, so, you know, this is what he had us straightening them out with. And this is what I would do for hours and hours. I would do stuff like this and clean uh, tools and clean parts, um, rebuild alternators, stuff like that. So we got into rebuilding brake calipers by the time I was leaving out of there when I was graduating high school. Um, great experience, great guys. Taught me a lifetime worth of lessons. I still to this day pretty much do all the work on my own cars. Uh, work on my kids' cars when they need it. Um, so, and that is exactly how we would go about straightening out these pins on the radio. So... Uh, you guys have a great day. I hope that helps somebody if you need it. Uh, there are some commercial combs you can get out there that make this job so much quicker. Um, I don't know if they sell them for a radiator that's this wide space. I do know they sell them for like condenser coils for air conditionings and things like that. But I don't know that they sell one that's wide enough to do a radiator like this. If they do, you know, I mean, how often are you going to straighten out the fins on a radiator if you're just doing stuff around your own house? And would it be worth it? So, a little sharpened pencil is pretty cheap thing all right you guys have a great day and as always uh you know from my Tabor city home you guys have a great day let's see you later bye, -bye.